10 years old. 10 years. So I know that your uh, fellow witnesses in school know that you're one of Jehovah's Witnesses. At times, how do they treat you? Well, sometimes they can be mean. It says I am one of Jehovah's Witnesses. They can be mean and treat me bad. Um, if you're good, they treat you bad. And if you're bad, they treat you good. So it's all backwards. Yes, it is. So what do you think about Jehovah? Do you think he helps you deal with the problems you face at school? Yes, whenever I have a problem, I pray to Jehovah and he helped me get through it. Very good. Now, I understand that some of your teachers don't allow you to bring literature into the school, but have you still found ways to witness? Yes, I have brought magazines in my backpack before and gave them away to some friends after school. I was even able to give a Bible story book to a friend I've known for a long time. Good. And have you had any results from that? Yes, my friend took the book and we still talk about it. Um, whenever she's sad, I give her, uh, I quote a few scriptures and that makes her happy. So Eli, I take it, is uh, that Jehovah's real to you? How do you view him? Yes, Jehovah's my best friend. All right, and what are your goals for the future? I want to grow up, get baptized, and find here. Last month, I was able to visit the Hawaiian branch office and go out with some missionaries. It was so much fun that I think I want to do it again when I grow up. Serve at the Hawaiian branch. Now there's a goal for you. Very good. Well, now let's talk to your grandpa, Brother Alan Priller. Brother Priller, how long have you been in the truth? In a few months, Brother Sisson, it'll be uh, 50 years that I've been baptized. So you were quite young when you uh, took Jehovah into your confidence? Yes. Um, I started studying when I was 13 years old, and then uh, I made my dedication and was baptized when I was 14. I served as a ministerial servant when I was 16 years old. And then I had the opportunity and started uh, pioneering when I was 17. Uh, 18, I had to really rely on Jehovah a lot. That was a rough year. It was during the Vietnam War, and uh, the draft board was very difficult uh, and to deal with by the brothers. So uh, uh, I wanted a 4D minister's classification in order to go to Bethel. You had to have that, but they wouldn't give it to me. In fact, uh, they would only give me 1A, which means go to war. They wouldn't even allow me to be... Uh, classified a conscious objector. So I requested uh, a personal appearance, which is like a hearing before the draft board, and they allowed me to come in and talk to them. And here this uh, young 18-year-old uh, uh, boy was, stand, uh, was sitting in front of these um, uh, very uh, scary men who were nationalistic, and uh, they wouldn't let me talk. They said, in fact, uh, he said, Jehovah's Witnesses could only be in a country like the United States that I should be thankful that I was allowed to even practice my religion and that uh, I should be thankful enough to go to war for it. Mm -hmm. And uh, they said, you have two choices. You either join the armed forces or you go to prison. So they ushered me out quickly and I went home. And on the way, way home, I prayed all the way home. Prayed all that night and between prayers I uh, made up an appeal and I filed an appeal with the Federal Appeal Board. And a few weeks later, uh, I got a letter saying they found in my favor unanimously. So I was very thankful Jehovah supported me through that difficult time. It's interesting because the secretary of the draft board told me that I was the first one of Jehovah's Witnesses to receive a minister's classification out of that local board after the start of World War II. So I was very appreciative of Jehovah's help. And then uh, that allowed me to apply for Bethel, and I did that. A few months later, I received a personal letter from Brother Norm that he signed that uh, I was accepted to be at Bethel. And before I turned 21, I was operating one of uh, Brooklyn Bethel's uh, large printing presses in the press room. So that's the long answer. The short answer is yes, I spent a lot of time when I was a youngster. <laughs> <laughs> well, in what other ways has having confidence in Jehovah helped you? Uh, the relying on Jehovah means everything. Um, you know, to be candid, we had some real rough times raising our family. There were times it was so, uh, so stressful that my wife and I would pray every day not to get through the week or the month or the year, but just to get through the next day. And uh, he kept it together for us day after day through very, very difficult, stressful times. And then later on in life, uh, we uh, had some medical uh, problems, some physical infirmities like you do when you get older. Uh, we prayed to Jehovah and relied on Him not to take these things away from us, but to help us get through them so it wouldn't lessen our service to Him. And He did that. And the final thing that uh, comes to mind is uh, 
it's very stressful as you get older to see loved ones pass away. We've had a number, both my wife and I on both sides, many loved ones of both in family and, and friends who have passed away, and that's been difficult. Jehovah likewise has uh, helped us get through these things. We know there's a resurrection, but we still mourn over the missing of the, of the association with these people, even though it may be present. So Jehovah's really held it together for us. Well, one final question. If you had it to do all over again, would you change anything with regards to your confidence in Jehovah? No, the only thing I change is less problems, but that just doesn't happen. So, uh, my life has been a full one, and it's been a happy one. I mean, we gave this experience yesterday, and the crowd was full of our friends, and now we come back today, and here we have a whole new group of our friends and people we've known for many, many years. It's been a blessing. We would change nothing. Well, thank you both very much. We appreciate that.